Thousands of Qantas jobs could be axed with the government paving the way for majority foreign ownership of the airline. The Transport Minister has confirmed changes to the Qantas Sale Act are being drafted. The troubled carrier will make an official announcement on Thursday. Up, up and away. But just where the carrier is heading is still not clear. And Qantas workers are fearing the worst. The axing of 5,000 jobs designed to show the government that it can make the changes needed to get its support. In a statement, the airline won't confirm or deny the speculation, saying only it's making tough decisions to achieve $2 billion in cost savings over the next three years and will do so regardless of federal government intervention. The government, though, has given its strongest indication yet that it will provide a debt guarantee and amend the Sale Act. We accept that Qantas uh, do have to compete with a ball and chain uh, provided by the Qantas Sale Act, uh, but in the end Qantas do have to get their own house in order. The government is philosophically attracted to levelling the playing field. Uh, so that uh, Qantas is able to operate uh, fairly and, and equally with, with, with other airlines. Current legislation states that Qantas must be 51% Australian owned, but by amending the 1992 Qantas Sale Act, the government would allow the airline to seek more foreign investment, a move likely to run into opposition in the Senate. Instead of saying to uh, Qantas, how can we assist you to keep jobs onshore and maintain a national carrier, it seems that Tony Abbott is saying, uh, if you want our help, sack a few thousand workers first. Qantas will reveal its half-year results on Thursday. The job losses are expected to come off the back of the $300 million loss the airline has forecast. The Australian Services Union represents more than 8,500 Qantas workers and says its members are anxious about a scheduled meeting with the airline on Friday. Some have been there for many years. Um, this is their livelihood, so it's very unsettling times for them. The Transport Workers Union believes the lost jobs will be transferred offshore. There should be no change to the Sale Act, no uh, taxpayer underwriting by the federal government until this company comes clean about how they're going to save this airline not how they're going to export jobs and capital overseas. There's also speculation about the future of Qantas's Melbourne Airport terminal, with the airline reportedly preparing to sell its long-term lease. A media spokesperson has said the airline will only do so if it gets a good deal. Sarah Arbo, SBS World News.